Paul's in here coming live again from the Aviva Stadium. We're just going to do our quick player ratings. So we'll start off, we'll go straight into it. We'll start off with Gavin Bissunu. Personally, I thought he didn't have much to do. He was buried for the goal. It wasn't really his fault, but look, I'm going to give him 6.5 out of 10 because he didn't have much to do. But again, look, that's it. What do you think yourself, Ian? Yeah, I'd, I'd say a bit about, yeah, 6.5 out of 7 because for the goal, it wasn't his fault. It was top corner, a few keepers been stopped us. Um, but he did make a very important save kind of late on in the uh, in the second half. And had that got in, definitely the draw would have been gone for him. So I think 6.5, 7, I think is, is, is fair. One very important save, and it wasn't his fault. Yeah, definitely. Right, we're moving to the back three. So we'll start off with James Coleman. Started off in the back three at the minute as well. He started off in the back three tonight. And uh, personally for me, I didn't think he was that great. He lost the ball a couple of times. The ball went out. He wasn't quick enough. And um, I always wanted to see him play in the back three, but it, did, it didn't really work out today. Uh, I'm going to go for a, a six, just because I didn't think it was a good performance overall. And I think he was a big part of it as well. Like think I said, yeah, I I I back that. I if I had to look at something to blame, possibly for the goal, there was quite a few of them. I think he probably was Coleman's man. Maybe I'll have to look back at it to, to double check. Um, but he let you know gave to him space. Maybe he's a lot more comfortable when he has the, the cushion of, of the, the touch line next to him. Uh, I agree. He tried a lot, chased a lot, uh, cut out a few times. And like you said, let, let the ball go. Yeah. Definitely. We'll move on. John Egan's his partner, one of his partners as well. Uh, Personally, for me, I think can't really give higher than a six there. Uh, solid, didn't have much to do, but again, it's a draw. It's only a point that home to Azerbaijan. It's a poor, poor performance. Uh, personally, for me, a six. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, again, nothing stood out. One or two decent headers to clear the ball. But you have to play from back. You have, to, you have to learn to start from there, to build from it. And you need your big guys like that to, to create something. Get the ball flown at the back so you can move it up forward. I don't think that was really done with really anyone today. Uh, so, yeah, like 5 and 5, 6, probably. Yeah. Five years off. yeah. Uh, we move on to the other centre half of the back three. Uh, Shane Duffy got the goal. Very important as usual. Always seems to be getting our important goals at the minute. It's got us a point on the board. We have to look at it that way, even though it is disappointing. Uh, I'm going to give 7.5 because of the goal, but ultimately I don't think he had to be that good. And when he was tested, he did look as solid as the goal. So he looks back to his best for me. Yeah, yeah, and, and I will say for the majority of headers of our one at the back, uh, certainly Duffy was the one I did kind of think a teammate that he didn't get to to when the ball was his to compete with. Uh, so in his own position, he did very well. And obviously he turned up the goal again. It's a little worrying that we're always looking for our centre backs to get the goals. That, that's the flip side, but Duffy on his own errors. Yeah, yeah, seven point five. Arguably up there in the world that's the best us. Yeah. We move on to the uh, the, mid, the five across midfield. We start off with uh, Matt Darkey. He did go off after about sixty minutes. Uh, you could say he had an illness during the week, which caused him to be maybe a little poor in the second half because he looked great in the first half against Portugal. But then. Um, yeah, gone off, went off early today. Uh, personally, for me, I don't think he did more than 5.56. Again, it was an average performance with all the other side. I think for him, he didn't really get involved as much as he, as he can do, and as much as we know he can do as well. So, 5.56. Yeah, I got to just like I said, there's a lot of like 5.5s to 6.5s in, in this performance with the exception of one or two. Doherty again didn't really create much, not too much fight or in it, but again, that's kind of across the board for most of it. I'd agree with that, nothing catastrophically done, but something of his quality in the team that he plays for, we'd like to see a little more creativity, particularly with the role he's, he's kind of given. Uh, I'd love to play that bit more free, he's able to attack a bit more, I'd like to see a bit more creativity. Maybe another bit. We move on uh, in beside him, Josh Cullen again was brilliant the other night as well. We keep going back to the other night, keep harping back and maybe how poor the performance was tonight. Again, same as we've said so far, can only really give a six passing the score, but it's always tight in our space. It was very much like Harry Guest likely, um, 5.56 for me. Yeah, I mean, again, I can say we've done the record, but I do think that. It, it very much was a testament to the performance that we had today, and having so many of the same scores and the same things being said, because there were a lot of them with exceptions, except one or two, and there were outliers. It wasn't that final drive, we were 80% of our team, and yeah, I, I, I agree, it's a kind of more than that. Yeah, we move on to his uh, sentiment to the partner, Jason Lumby. I thought he was very energetic, to be fair, 
but there was a couple of times Tony Tico off he did lose the ball in kind of sloppy positions and it gave them an opportunity to attack again I'm going to go for six I don't want to be too harsh and he played well he was very energetic but besides that only a six for me yeah, I, I, I agree. Uh, he had a, a slightly bit more intensity than most people, a bit of hard work. Didn't really prove to do much, but I want to see a bit of a fight. If a team's not performing well, the one thing the, the fans want to see is, right, not playing well, it's not going for it, fight, go for it, chase it. Uh, I think he tried again, as we can see from the end score, and nothing much was really created. But I'd give him a six, kind of over some of the others that are in the fives, probably just for his. his to go on and try and uh, we move on to uh, James McLean on the le left wing back side he's getting a lot of stick in and around us from a lot of people uh, a couple of people from the wing in particular as well personally I find it hard to criticise him for the game it was controversial that he was in the side from the start a lot of us didn't think he would be again I'm probably going to go for 5.5 definitely for this one because I think he probably shouldn't start it and some of his crossing is quite poor as well yeah, and certainly in the first half, I was really disappointed. Uh, him being on more to be defensive in mind, which was needed for the first half, he was his one. He, was, he wasn't following the line with the others. He gave the ball away once, once or twice in Dave's positions. When the second half kind of came on and we were able to attack a bit more, he did come into the game a bit more, tried to create stuff. He was very much huffing and puffing though, couldn't really beat his man. He had a lot of attempts to try and get across in. Very few bet man ones that did, didn't find their tag. Goes back to him, he did try. I'd like to see a bit of a fight, but uh, he'd be disappointed with his balance. Yeah, we'll go down the middle now. The, the man just off the striker, from what I've seen anyway, Aaron Connolly did go off at half time. Did get a couple of knocks on Wednesday. So I thought he was quite good on Wednesday. Got a lot of stick from the media and from a lot of the fans as well. Uh, again, I don't think you can go maybe about five point five here for me. Yeah, I, I'll be honest. Compared to my, I didn't actually even see much of him when he was on the pitch. I don't, I can't really remember much of anything that he was really created. You know, I did hear he was carrying that knock, so maybe that did. They go, I'd agree. Maybe last week, probably got a little bit of a raw deal because he, he was there. He was in the right positions. He was trying to create stuff. Um, you know, so yeah, I, I, I can understand that. But today, like many others, what's I'm saying. Yeah. Troy Parrott as well is probably quite a similar story to me as well. He's up next up, up alongside that meet up we start with Troy Parrott. Uh, wasn't really involved like Conley. Uh, again, I barely saw him. He did go off eventually. Uh, again, I, I think you just have to stay at the starting point to fire for me. Yeah, five, five and a half. Um, it's a few put I think he got from Troy to play down the centre, which I think something I was kind of hard to over here or whatever, you know, to try and do something a little bit more different than this huffing and puffing down the wing with crosses. Um, didn't quite much, very different to be honest. And yeah, again, you're going to do at a, at a fine rating, which I can't argue with. Yeah, we move on to the man, the three man match anyway, Adam Eda. I thought he was brilliant again, all the plays, fantastic. He ran them a lot, he ran he ran against their defenders a lot, which probably wouldn't be the only players who did as well. Uh, for me, I'm going to give a 7.5. He was the man of the match, and alongside Duffy, the only one who can really give a whole six, really, to be honest. Without question, and um, his performance, like, it's not something you're going to see much of in a highlight reel if people haven't seen the full game, kind of how much his work rate was wasn't much in the way of being clear cut chances or anything for him, but his work rate is true to it. His touching ability, uh, his first touch ability is just incredible. Um, he's playing a very, very thankless role, being up in these corner positions, being chased down by two, maybe three defenders at a time. And most of the time, he's, he's, he's creating stuff out of it. He's keeping the ball under his feet. He's giving it to somebody who's making his position up. Uh, for me, yeah, I, he, he is the man of the match without question. And, and his fight is driving. At least we have one sort of striker that we may be able to look at in the coming you know, year or next campaign. But right, this is the guy we build the team around. This is going to be the focus on because uh, his ability is, is there to see. Yeah, and I think it's amazing that he doesn't get a star for Norwich more so than not. I mean, I don't get a star. he's only played about 20 minutes in the first three games of the season, which I think is amazing. But look, he's shown he's well up for it and hopefully he gets a couple of opportunities in the next while. Yeah. Um, we can go through the subs. I think. 
Alan Brown, Conor Horahan and uh, James Collins didn't really get enough time, so I don't think we deserve to rate them and I don't think they deserve it either. But Daryl Horgan was on at half time. Yeah. I thought he was brilliant, I thought he was very lively. Yeah. He did a couple of loose passes here and there, but ultimately I thought he was quite good. I'd go 6, 6.5, probably going to edge towards 6.5 because he was lively and he got into it as well. Yeah, yeah no, I, I'd, I'd second that. You know, I think. The, the onslaught of kind of what, what attack and possession we did have in the second half, it was for me anyway, 90% of it was going through that ball. Mm -hmm. uh, as you said, you know, a few loose passes, I think it was just his intensity was so fast that it just kind of he was a bit too fast even for himself. But um, one of the better on the pitch, and I think 6.5 is, is fair. Yeah, right. Well, anyway, that's our player ratings. What did you think yourselves? Leave your comments in, in the description of the video and don't forget to like and subscribe there'll be plenty more content coming up between today and tomorrow with reaction from this game and obviously we'll have more on tuesday for the home game against Serbia. thanks very much guys keep keep tuning in keep following and subscribing